hello everyone this video is about so create our first maron app okay mongodb express react in node.js okay to create the first app so first of all we will configure uh, mongodb database okay after configuring that we will write the code for our server side and after that we will create the front end for that okay so then we will create uh, fetch the data we will use a uh, git api and also the uh, post api okay to insert a record to the database and also to get the records from the database we will do these tasks in this video so before um, starting uh, please subscribe our youtube channel so let's get started so for this project we are using mongodb so let's first of all configure our mongodb database so let's come to the chrome to the browser and after that we will just open this mongodb website and after that we will create an account okay first of all we should create an account after creating an account this dashboard will be open for you so here we will come on the left side we will come to the database okay in the database section we will create a database okay click this button build a database Uh, after clicking that button so this will be open for you okay so now here um, these are fed so we would like to create a free one okay let's click this is a shared one so we will click on this one okay then come here uh, which provider you would like to use azure google cloud or aws amazon i would like to select this one and here the region just select that one i will select uh, mumbai okay let's come here to the mumbai okay after that uh, assign a name to your on this cluster okay i will assign cluster zero okay so let's press this create button so it will create this cluster for us uh, i will just yeah after cre cre clicking that button so this area will be open for you so here we will down we will come here to the username we will assign a username i already have in a, a user a user so i will delete that remove that and i will create a new one so let's assign a name for that for example cwy code with user and let's assign um, a password for that test one two three okay just i will delete it after this video okay just for the purpose to show you so let's create this user press this button the user has created and after that just come here down and here we will uh, like to just assign our ip so i will just click add uh, my current ip address um the ip address is already um, been added so i have already added the ip address okay these are the ip addresses which i have added so i will remove all these and also this one and this one yeah, this ip address i assigned this one this means that uh, everyone can access it okay if you would like to access just by your own self so just access just uh, click this one add my current ip address but i would um, assign this ip address okay we can access that without any error so after that so i have already i have the ip address just press this button finish and uh, close yeah go to the database Yeah, we will come to this area after coming to this area so our cluster has created so now we how we would like to connect with this cluster with this database okay how to connect with that so for that let's press this connect button after pressing the connect button so this area will be open for us so here how would you would like to connect with this okay access your data through tools to access our data uh, which we are storing in our database so these are the methods that we would like to use okay but i am using the compass okay let's freeze the compass if you if you don't have the compass so just download it if you have the already the compass so just come here okay this is the i have mongodb compass installed i have that let's open that this is the mongodb compass let's close it and open it just come here open it mongodb compass yeah here we will just uh, mm, uh, assign the link okay let's copy that link just come here and copy this link okay copy the link after copying the link come to the mongodb compass and paste that here after pasting just change this password to the password the, that you have assigned to the user test one two three after assigning this so just press the connect button yeah let's see what happened see we have connected with that cluster okay yeah that has opened for us so now we will create a database later 
so just come here to the database section and here we will create our a database okay let's press this one create database after that let's assign a name for example mar and let's assign a collection name collection name would be users table okay users let's press this button create database yeah that has created for us okay this is the uh, database which we have created right now okay so now how to connect with this and how to access it from our code so this was the database which we have created okay we did uh, everything here and then we connect through uh, mongodb compass here we can uh, manage our data okay our database and collections okay this is for that purpose so now let's come to the visual studio code in the visual studio code first i will create a folder here in this uh, folder i will create a new folder by the name of server this folder is just for the server side code okay node.js so here inside this uh, i will just open command line after opening the command line let, let's move to the cd server folder and after that let's press npm init hyphen y it means it will initialize our uh, server side and it will create a package.json file see this file has created here so now we will um, just uh, um, install a few dependencies and libraries so let's write npm install install uh, express express which is the framework of node.js we would like to write our apis through express mongos mongos we would like to use for the mongo database and cars the cars are used to access our backend side in our front end react these cars are used for that and also nodmon nodmon is used to um, refresh our server site automatically okay we will see it later so let's press enter and install these packages the packages has installed okay so just let's come here and we will create a new file here uh, index.js we will write our express code in this file okay so now let's write the basic code of our um, backend side okay our express let's first of all import uh, const express import our express is equal to express which is a framework of node.js um, express is equal to require and here we will use express and after that const mongos is equal to require mongos and after that const cars is equal to require cars and let's use create an app of is equal to express and after that and let's use mongos and uh, uh, cars uh, app dot use cars and also one thing else app dot use express dot json this is used for whenever we pass data from our front end to the back end so it will um, convert that force that to the json format if we don't try this so it will give us an error to us and let's run our server so to run that let's write app dot listen and here we will assign a port number 301 for example and create callback function console.log server is running so let's save it and let's run our server so nodmon we have installed nodmon package earlier so let's come to the package.json to use nodmon we will come here to the scripts area and let's make it a little bit bigger okay close this and here we will light start um, not one yeah it means that we can uh, whenever we will just try it here to run our server npm start so whenever we make change in our server side so it will automatically refresh the file let's close this one and yeah server is running perfectly So now we will connect our um, backend, this uh, um, uh, our um, node.js or express with the node, uh, MongoDB. Okay, to connect it with that, so we will write just Mongo, mongos.connect, and here we will just assign the connection string. 
where the, where we can find the connection stream just come here and to the chrome browser and here press the connect and come press this driver and just copy this url okay copy this one after copying close this and come here to the visual studio code and paste that here paste that here okay after pasting please and here just change it to the password test one two three and after that just come here just we will like to write our database name here okay in this area we will write our database name the database was maron okay this was the name of the database and leave it everything okay so it will connect with the mongo database so after that let's uh, write an api to access the users from our database okay let's come here to the mongodb compass here for example let's add a um, user to this table and to access that let's come here um, insert document and here we would like to write just to one other fields this is json file and name name for example yusuf and also the age for example 23 and let's insert it see the record has inserted so now let's read this record okay to read this record let's come here to the visual studio code and here we would like to write uh, an api op.git git users create a, re uh, in a callback function request and response this request is the data that we are passing from our front end and this is the response we are which we are um, passing from our back end side to the front end and just come here now so before accessing this user uh, so we will create a model for this collection okay in mongo database we should create um, models for every collection okay for this user we will create a model in our server side so let's come here to the code section and here we will create uh, a new folder by the name of models and inside that we will create a file by the name of users.js and in that we will like to write the fields for that collection okay the fields that we have in that collection that we would like to write in that collection so let's first of all import the mongos uh, const mongos is equal to require mongos and after that let's create the um, schema for that const user schema is equal to mongo new mongos dot schema and inside that we would like to write the fields that we want okay so the first field would be name for example and for that let's specify the type the type would be string and required required true and after that let's specify another one that is age and for the age the type is the number and the required true yeah these two fields we will specify for this and after that let's create the model from, from this so to create the model let's write const user model is equal to uh, just write the use mongos dot model and this has two parameters the first one is the collection that we would like to pass to that okay this is the collection the users okay and let's pass that users and the second one is this schema that we has created user schema oh sorry user schema and after that let's export it module dot exports is equal to user model so now let's import this user model in this index file so to import that let's write const user model is equal to require model slash users okay after importing it let's use it so to use it we will write user model 
to get all the objects from mm, that model okay from that uh, table dot find we will use a find method we have another methods okay these are all methods that we can use but i will use the find one to get all the objects and here i will pass just empty object okay this is for the error and here i will i will write the din and after that um, whenever uh, it get all the objects i will create uh, a function and uh, we will get the result here and those will be the users uh, and here i will just uh, display them okay to display them i will use this response to send them to the front end response dot json i will use as json uh, these users okay i will send the users to the front end and after if there was no record so if there was an error so we will catch that error result dot json error so now let's test it okay so how to test it to test it we will use uh, another um, this extension which is today extension by the name of thunderbell thunder client okay you can just find it here so i have already installed it thunder client okay so let's create a new request here please this new request and after that we will use git method because this is a git method that we will use and after that let's write here um, http http localhost and after that our port number is 3001 and after that our method okay the route that we would like to use okay git users this one Are we okay the request is git and after that we will just press the send button uh, internal uh, server error let's check where is the error let's save this first of all okay get user 3001 get users let's see see we got the users okay Be before that was not saved okay this file was unsaved so now whenever we pressed this through this url we can access the, the data okay name use of and 823 status 200 okay okay the status was okay it means that we got our record um, successfully there was no error in getting the access from the this database mongodb okay we got our uh, data from this database so now let's create another api this was git api okay this was the git api so how to insert data to the database okay to insert data let's close this one first okay to insert uh, data we will use uh, post method for that okay this was git method so we will use post method for that um, don't worry for the front end i will write the front end code later i will just test okay test it okay okay let's write up that post uh, create user the route would be create user and let's get, we will get request and response and inside that We will write our code to insert a record. So to insert the, re the record, so first of all, we will get the data from this request. Okay, this request has the data that we are passing from our front end. So let's write const user is equal to request dot body. Okay, the data would be attached with the body. After um, getting that data, so let's create a new user const new user is equal to new user model. That we has created early okay user model um, and we will pass the user that we have okay to this user model we create in a new object of this and we pass this data this user to that after uh, passing this so let's save it okay so to save it let's write a new user dot save we will call this save method uh, so it will save the record so let's make it uh, async and await because and this is very important to make all the uh, function uh, the functions the functionalities uh, async and await async and let's make it await to not wait okay and now we will get after um, creating a record inserting a record we will access back that record okay so access that we would like to write result.json the user that we have okay we will like we will return that record back to the front end so now let's check it okay so to check it back we will come to the thunder client and here we will create um let's come here we have already opened that and here now instead of git we will use post method and here we will use a uh, create users 
the route is create user let's check it how oh, yeah create user create user and now we will pass the data okay how to pass the data we will come to the body and we will pass the json data and to the first json we would like to this and then the name the name would be coder for example and the age the age would be for example 30 okay so now let's press uh, the send button okay to send the data see we got back that data coder and 30 let's check the data we have the in this um, compass or not mongodb compass let's refresh it after refreshing we will get the data see we got the new records coder and 30 so it was to create uh, to insert the data to the database so now let's come to the front end how to um, display the data on the front end and the rack using react.js and also create a new um, record from that from the react.js okay so let's come here here we will create um, the react app okay to create the react app we will just come here to the command line and we will take a new command and here just um, I will write npm pm init hyphen y uh, sorry npm init wait okay wait so it is used to create uh, a react app just press enter yeah the project name for example client press which one you would like to use the framework and we will use react and um, the select a variant typescript typescript plus is, is wc we will use javascript okay press the javascript and after that just move to the client cd client and just write npm install it will ins install the npm a few packages after installing them Yeah, that has installed successfully so now let's write npm run do to run the server the client side or the front end server after running this let's move to this one to this url let's press this after pressing let's come to the chrome see our react app has created wait for us react okay this has created now i will remove all these things let's move to the back to our code and close this one and come here to the client side and here to the src i will delete all these things index css i will delete this one and also i will remove it from this area save it and let's come up to js i will remove all this code okay leave it empty and just remove it also all these and after that just come here and remove all this thing from the css files let's come to the j 6 i will create a new new element remove this one so let's first of all we will pitch the data from our backend from server side then we will display that here in, in this code okay so let's first of all we will write the um, code to fetch the records so to fetch the records first we should install the access library to fetch the records for that let's come to the command line and here we will just take a new one and let's move to the cd client and after that write npm install access okay it is used for um, request and response okay to get um, the data install access http request and response library it is okay okay after installing this so let's come here now we will use it so let's use use effect it is a hook okay which will run at the first at the start and let's create callback function inside this let's write array dependency and here we will use uh, axis so let's first import the axis axis sorry import axis from axis let's use it now axis dot git first we will get the records so let's come here to the thunder client and this is the url that we will use for getting we will just write git users so it will get all the users so dot then we will get uh, the results here users 
and here I will just create a new variable to store uh, the users there okay const users set users is equal to use state okay we will use use state okay it is in array type it has so here I will store these users in that one okay so just let's call this method set users set users and we will pass these users to that this user to that okay after that if there was any error cage so console dot log error it is okay okay we fetch the record and we store them in these users so we should write this one also users that data okay it will store the data in these users so to check this one how we access this one so you can just write here console dot log users so first it will show you the records in the console then uh, write it how you can write them to store them in these users so now let's display them okay to display them just come here and we will uh, write the code the users variable dot map function and we will get a single user here a row function and control z and here we will display the users to display the user let's uh, first of all return a new due record and inside this let's write h3 element inside that we will use user dot uh, name and also user dot age okay so we I hope yeah it will work okay so let's run see our app how it looks like see we got the result okay these are the results that we got so before that I will write something else h2 first learn mongo express react note app okay and also I will assign a class name here class name center and let's use it in this after CSS dot center text align center so it is it will align the text in the center see we have these records these two records so now let's create a new user how okay, we will create a two fields here for the name and the age then we will um, insert the record to the uh, database so let's come here to the object JSX and down from this here break and here I will create two input field one for the um, name and then second one for the age and also let's create a button create user okay and after that let's whenever we are writing something in this input field so we should store them somewhere okay so let's create two new variable const name and set name is equal to use state let's copy this one and change this to the age age okay and this one is the age and let's come here we will like to write unchange event call this one unchange a row create in a row function and just call sit name first of all sit name method and write here e dot target dot value it will store the value that we are writing in this foot input field in this variable okay in this name and also let's copy this one and paste it here here we will just change this to the sit age okay it will store the value in age variable so now whenever we press this button so what we will do we will call a new function on click just call a submit function okay let's create the submit function so just come here const submit is equal to it is in a row function uh, inside this we will use access that post method okay now so let's simply copy this one this code control C copy and paste it here and after that I will change this to the post and just change it to the create user and um, yeah everything is okay set users just remove it and just console it console log users it will uh, return the um, uh, store uh, display the result in console okay 
yeah i hope it will work and we will create a new record so let's check it let's come here see and let's enter a new record khalil for example ages for example um just six here okay press this button create user so let's check our mongodb let's compass let's refresh it uh, let's uh, refresh this one oh, we the record has not created just come here let's wait for that it will fix the records yes yeah, so let's check our code where is the error here use effect access start gate okay get user get users okay create user is the api okay create user and the method is post here we have access start post method okay yeah type text uh, set name set age user model yeah everything is okay yeah i think we didn't pass the data so let's uh, just come here to the um, update g6 and here to the post method we should pass our data so let's come here we will for fast uh, control z Yeah, just come here and write pass the object the object would be the name that we will pass and the age we will pass these two fields to that save the record and let's move back refresh it now why we can't get the records let's move to the inspect area come to the console <coughs> access error yeah the error was here um, in the server side good okay here was the error that that was crashed so i restart the server side okay i restarted that so now let's check it again let's uncomment this code i just commented the it before let's also uncomment this code and save it and let's come back here see we got the records okay and let's new a new record now create a new record Khalil. okay and let's press for example it is age create the record so let's come here to the mongo compass and let's appreciate see the new record has added okay Khalil and h is eight and also let's appreciate see the new record has added so it was all about the basic and the first half for the um, modern stack okay mongodb express react and node.js okay we just get the, re the data from backend and display using react.js and also we created a new user and inserted the data to the database so i hope this video was very helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching